Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to recover deleted files from an SD card. So if you've got an SD card just like this one and you want to recover data on it, I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is a little micro SD card. Doesn't matter what brand it is. If the files have been deleted, maybe you formatted the actual micro SD card, you can still recover the data. But first we're going to need to get it onto the computer so we can use software to try to recover this data. This little USB uh, drive here will allow us to plug in this micro SD card into the end of it, which will then allow us to plug it into the computer. You'll be able to see here, it was slots right in here, and these are very uh, cheap to buy. I will leave a link in the video description in case you need to get your hands on one of these. But they're super useful, and it just allows us to be able to get this onto the computer so we can then use software to run a scan on it to try and recover the data. You can also use one of these little uh, tiny adapters which you can then slide in i'm trying to do this with one hand here but you can slide the actual micro sd card inside here now as long as the micro sd card is not damaged anyway we can use software to recover the data on these micro sd cards so now we have it in this little holder here we can then use an adapter to plug it into the computer we can use something like this uh, to plug it into and then all we need to do is put the other end into the computer. You can see here, this does have a USB connector on the end here, but they normally come with this Type-C connector as well. Either way, you can use one of these little adapters uh, to recover the data. We're going to be using the disk drill. Now this software will work with Mac OS and also Windows, but we're on a Windows-based system, so we're going to be using the Windows version here. So we're going to be downloading the free download here. Now do remember that if you want to recover more than 500 megabytes of data you will need to pay for the software and uh, you can see it right here it says free data recovery up to 500 megabytes so i've got more than 500 megabytes in uh, data that i want to recover so i will need to purchase the software now this could be photographs documents it could be any type of data on these micro sd cards it works for pc and mac hard drive and ssd usb flash drives SD and CF cards, digital cameras, iPhones, Android, and Mac only. You can see right there all of the types that it will recover data on. So let's go to the download section here, and I'm going to be downloading the uh, 5X version, which is their latest version. And you can see it does support many different Windows versions as well. I've got this downloaded, and I'm just going to go ahead and get it onto the computer and install it. Now, do remember. Before you're using a disk drill, the micro SD card or whatever device you're trying to recover data from does need to be functional and working correctly and be visible to the computer so we can actually scan it and try to recover data using software. If it's corrupted or damaged in any way, shape, or form and it can't be recognized, then you might not be successful using software and you will need to be taking that to a data recovery specialist. So I'm just going to put in my key code that I've just purchased. And what I'm going to do here now is you can see I've got my drive here, which is drive F, which is data on there. This is the drive I want to try to recover some data on. And uh, this will recover videos and photos and stuff like that. I'm interested in some photos here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. OK, so all we need to do now is open up our software that we've just installed. And I've already got the micro SD card into the adapter plugged into my computer. And now you can see it's recognized here as SanDisk. This is the one we want to run a scan on. It's 120 gigabytes in size, so it's gonna take a bit of time to run a scan on this drive. Now it's important to understand, as soon as you lose data, you need to stop using that drive immediately to try and preserve what's on there so we can have a best chance possible of recovering data. You can see the drive is recognized here. I'm gonna click on the search for lost data here. And as you can see here, we're just going to allow this to run a scan and it will start showing up pictures, videos, audio, documents, and other files, what it finds on that micro SD card there. So we're just going to let this run. You can see it's already starting to find pictures here and video and documents and other files. So this does take a bit of time, as I've said. You just need to be patient and let it run. I've speeded this process up now. It's now finished its scan. And what it's doing, it's reconstructing the files and folders that the scanners found. So you can see here's 24,737 files that were pictures on that drive. 
Now this can recover data even if you formatted that drive. So you do need to be quick. As long as you don't continue to use the drive after the fact, uh, then you should be okay at trying to recover that data because the more you use the drive, the more it's going to overwrite the data. And that's what you don't want. So you can see here now it's reconstructed all of this. And what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to click on the pictures area here. And you can recover all data if you want to and just click on uh, recover all data and you can review the found files. So I'm going to click on pictures and straight here I can see reconstructed and I can also see uh, in this section here. So let me go ahead and just quickly look here and see what we've got on this actual drive here. I'm trying to find the area that interests me the most with my pictures on it and I can already see there is an area that says pictures. So let me go ahead and put the check mark in here. And what we're going to do is open this little tree up here to have a look and see what's inside. So now it's broke these down into sections, i.e. Uh, the TIFF files or SVG files, PNG files and JPEG and so on. So if I know what file type it is that I'm trying to recover, I can just discard the rest if I want to and just concentrate on the file that I'm trying to recover. In my case, it's a JPEG file. So I'm just going to be concentrating on the JPEG section, but you can recover just everything if you want to. The recovery chances will be listed right here. You can see the recovery chance is high. That means there's a really strong possibility that I'll be able to recover the data that has been found in this section. So I'm just going through here and some of these are not what I wanted, but I can see here right away that these are the ones that I want to recover. So it has been successful in recovering some of the ones that were lost on this drive. So let me go ahead and go through here. And uh, basically, I can uncheck the ones that I don't want, or I could just recover the whole folder. So if you want to painstakingly go through here and just uncheck the ones you don't want, you can do. But if you've got tons of files, then that may be time consuming. It may be quicker just to recover all of them and go through that way. And it has kept the uh, actual file names which is nice some of them have been uh, taken away you can see here this one's just called file 1920 by 1080 it doesn't have a name or a number it's just give it a number and that sometimes does happen but don't worry about it what we're going to do is leave these check marked here and i'm going to recover these so let's go ahead and just quickly check through some of these to make sure they are the correct ones and this is the location that i want to be in and this is the area that I want to recover. So I know I'm in the right location here. Once I'm happy with the selection that I've got here, all I need to do here now is click on the recover section right down on the bottom right hand side here. And this will then go ahead and ask me where I want to recover them to. So I'm just going to quickly uh, go through here. You can see the recovery chances, date modified and file sizes to get a much more accurate uh, search if you're looking for a particular file. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, choose a destination here because these destinations are not what I want. So I'm going to choose my own destination. I've got a folder that I've called data recovery and I'm going to recover it to that location. I can now show recovered data in the Explorer by clicking on the blue uh, button here. So let me go ahead and go to this location and it should show me all of the files that I've just recovered. I can then go in here and highlight some of the ones that I'm not interested in recovering and delete them. So let me go ahead and go to up the top here where it says view extra large. And I can now see some of the files that I don't need. And I can quickly highlight these and delete them just like so and keep the ones that I want to keep. And these could be your precious photos of your holiday or parties or whatever it is that you've taken photos of. It could be documents. It could be anything that you've had uh, on that actual drive there or actual micro SD card, depending on what you're recovering data from. And you can see here, they fully work. I'm opening them up and they're all functional and working. There's no data loss on these, which is very useful. And that's how quick and easy it is to recover data, uh, even though the drive was formatted or whether you've deleted the files accidentally, you can still recover data on them. And hopefully, if you've lost data and you're watching this video, hopefully you'll be successful in recovering your data using the Disk Drill uh, software. So you can see here, I just want to quickly show you this section here. You can check for videos and other types of data on here as well, like I said. 
I just want to show you the recovery chance here because it's important that you see that sometimes it may say recovery chance low. What does that mean? It pretty much means that you're not going to be able to uh, use this data. It's probably going to be corrupted or it's not going to work correctly. Or there may be chunks missing from the actual image where it's starting to delete that file. And once that happens, it's not going to be recoverable. So you just have to bear in mind you're looking for a higher chance of recovery to be able to recover all your data. That's why it's important that you stop using the drive immediately once you've realized you've deleted it to have the best possible chance of recovering that data from that micro SD card or USB flash drive or whatever it is that you're trying to recover the data from. So that's a really important step to take. As soon as you know the data is gone, stop using it and then try to recover the data immediately rather than waiting months on end because the chances will reduce the longer you leave it and the more that you continue to use the drive. Now, hopefully uh, you'll be able to recover all the data on whatever you're trying to recover data from, just like I did here. And if you did, then let me know in the comments section below what your success was. I'll be interested to read your comments. Now, again, it just depends how much you value your data. It's always important that you back up your data on a regular basis. Otherwise, you could run the risk of losing that data at any time. So always have a good backup plan. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. I'll leave all the information in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. Thank you.